This is the war in Vietnam. In this TABS unit creator battle, the Americans were out on patrol when the Vietnamese have ambushed them from the jungle. As you can see, this place is absolutely lined by the Viet Cong and the muzzle flashes coming out of the jungle do look pretty epic. Now they've got more than just an ambush because they've also got guys coming down from the side uh, down here and also if we go down the other side they've also got guys who are going to be making their way up the hill here. Now this is actually going to be a wave battle so how this works in wave one we have the Americans down here and all of them have M16s but every single new wave we put down the Americans are going to unlock a new more powerful unit to help them survive the ambush. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video to see how many waves it takes these US patrol to actually finally survive the Viet Cong ambush. But in in wave one it is only going to be m16s and as you can see with only m16s and with their back to the enemy the Viet Cong ambush is gonna take out the patrol in a matter of seconds in fact I might even be demonetized for war crimes right here that was absolutely brutal now every single round we're gonna have each of the new units spawning right down at the back here as like a secondary force and uh, and then basically what that means is that the Viet Cong have to come out of the jungle and make their way up to deal with all these guys hiding at the back he is actually asking for a headshot right now like look at this like that is literally like prime time opportunity to get a headshot what are you doing put your head down the enemy is literally right there but for some reason they've all decided to do some sort of like weird little like sideways dance but as you can see the the Viet Cong right here have some sort of like crazy dancing firing line and there you go just like that somebody evidently got the headshot where did they hit but not to fear this is wave two right here and as you can see they are now going to be supported by their shotgun units who are going to be spawning at close range and is already dead <laughs> let's see how are the other guys doing any more shotguns um no he's on the floor this one's on the floor down here how about over here this guy is again just also being shot let's see how long they last okay shotguns have got more health and a better weapon oh one of the american units oh some of the american lads have like fallen off the hill and are like hiding down here but the Viet Cong are literally hunting them down please don't do what you're about to do please I'm oh, okay he's dead and once again right down at the back we now have the M16 and the shotgun spawning back here there's gonna be a secondary fighting force although something tells me that guy's probably not gonna last very long turns out shotguns not got very good range who would have thought and oh my god boys that is a lot of angry Viet Cong that is flooding out of the woods and they're still not even all out of the woods some of them are still stuck back here oh that's a sniper right here he is gonna have a long range shot and something tells me that this final m16 guy has not got long to live that is the end of wave two and now moving into wave three something is probably going to be a little bit more useful in the jungle with guerrilla warfare the usa's third unit right here is going to be the gillied up sniper oh my god that guy's had a really bad day the crossfire here by the way is just absolutely insane you see this one volley from the Viet Cong, all hiding in the woods that first volley just absolutely chops down these americans who's even left right here the final m16 guys are just gonna get shot in the back oh my god it's brutal he's hiding around the corner he might get like a cheeky little drop on the enemy right here this is smart i like his thinking i don't think he's gonna get that kill he's also holding his gun a little bit broken Oh, oh, they're shooting the wall. I was going to say, I was like, that guy definitely does not have that much health. Okay, wave three, yet again, was a loss for the Americans. What is it going to take for this patrol to beat the Viet Cong? Okay, wave four is here. And as you can see, it is now the LMG with a flak jacket right here. This guy, although he's just going to get pinned down and let's be honest, absolutely demolished. The one thing he is going to be useful for is the fact that he has just got so much health that he's going to help the rest of them survive whilst the Andy's dead. <laughs> Andy's dead. Let's see. And the other one's dead as well however they still probably did something they were still probably kind of useful oh my god what is it gonna take these Viet Cong I swear have any of them even died literally I swear none of them are even dead and again you can see the Viet Cong are pushing they're starting to flood out the hill while some of them are pushing and this guy's doing well whatever that is mate that is not how you hold your gun definitely not how you hold your gun all right let's see if the guy at the back the LMG at the back can actually do something and he's dead <laughs> oh no I think he's still alive Oh, you see what I mean? He's tanking some shots. And this guy has fallen off the hill and died. I'm not sure if you caught that, but that was the guy who was holding his gun, like, literally like this. Uh, so I'm not really surprised there, I must admit. This M16 is literally the MVP. This guy on his own, right here, every single time. How many, how many did he actually kill? Because I swear this guy alone, right here, I swear this guy right here, on wave 4, has actually killed more than the rest of his entire team combined. But I mean, look, even after the end of wave 4 right here, look how many Viet Cong we've got here. We've got this guy down the back here. We've also got these boys, who are probably going to be forever stuck behind that tree, as well as these guys right here. So, the Americans are really going to have to step up their game if they're going to take them out. 
and step up their game they have. These are the flamethrower guys. This is wave five and they now have flamethrowers. And that guy has just been team killed. Oh no, it doesn't actually do anything to him. These flamethrowers, come on. Surely, flames in the jungle, please just shoot. Okay, we got one flame off. But I think it's just gonna, yeah, it's just gonna hit the tree. That is such a disappointment. Oh, we got one more flame coming in here. Come on, please do some more shooting. You need to burn them. These flames are so rogue and the guys are blowing up the flamethrowers. You can see right here, as they die, the flamethrowers are blowing up. Those guys did literally nothing. What an utter disappointment. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. The flamethrower who joined the guys at the back has just got one kill down here. Let's see. Can he get some more? Can he get some more? Oh, mate. Okay, the flamethrower actually did a little bit of work there. Got two kills, which is more than pretty much nothing like the rest of the team got. But again, yet again, you can see it doesn't matter because the Viet Cong are still piling up. And we're back to the same thing that happens every time with this guy lying on the floor. Let's just look down his sight right there. That's quite a cool little shot. If only that was aiming up. It actually looks like I've gone first person for a shootout right here. M16, though, doing some business. Again, though, they actually killed a couple more. That's not as many. Oh, actually, no, I'm lying to you. There's still loads of them. Okay, the flamethrowers didn't quite do it. Let's see if the bazooka can. There's your answer. Absolutely not. And this guy, is this guy getting demolished as well? Yes, he is. Let's see. Is this bazooka going to get a shot off? Are any of the bazookas even going to get their shots off? That was absolute carnage. Let's see. Please. No, he's getting shot down from the side. Look at these little nerds shooting in from the side. No, he's not got a shot. Let's see. What about this guy right here? Fourth bazooka. Please just get a shot off. I'm actually begging you. No, he's dead. Okay. Fortunately, we've got one more bazooka down the back here who might be able to do the business. Let's see. Please get a shot. We've got an M16 and a very sneaky bazooka. I'm really hoping for something big from this bazooka. Mate, please don't disappoint YouTube. Boys, what are you doing? Why are they all just having some sort of like weird dance party? <laughs> Lads, now is not the time. This is the war in Vietnam. You need to you need to deal with your enemy. This boy right here is absolutely bopping to the music as well. I am uh, I am very confused right now. I'm not sure if this guy's just got like crippling anxiety and just can't hold the bazooka like he can't hold it steady what i might do here because they don't look like they're gonna attack anytime soon i might just take control of this guy and and take uh, and, he, and he's dead <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, that went quite well. Okay, next up is wave six, and we now have an artilleryman, which looks like he might actually do some work. You can see he is sticking up his hands right now, and he is calling in an artillery barrage. You can see all three of them are actually, this could be the turning point. Let's see, where's that artillery going? Where is that artillery going? Any second now, where's it going? Oh, it's going for these guys down here. Although they are so hidden. This is guerrilla warfare for you. They're so tucked away that it hasn't actually really done anything. Look, both of them are survived. Both of those guys have survived. Let's see. Did it kill any of these guys? It didn't even kill any of those guys. So it turns out those artillerymen are, are not going to be the turning point that the Americans need. Honestly, boys, I don't know how this is going so badly. The artillery is just doing nothing because they're just like, they're tucked away. This is, this is guerrilla warfare for you, 101. And um, would you look at this? This boy right here has gone back into his favorite hiding spot, which, by the way, absolutely useless. I feel like the Americans, I feel like the best unit the Americans have had so far is his M16. He's dropping them. He's actually dropping them. Whereas this guy, oh, great, the one shot he does take, boys. Good job. Look, the one shot he does take, and look where it goes. Look at that. That literally is an utter disaster. How have the Americans still not won this? Just so you know, by the way, at this point, the Americans have got 22,000 points. And I'm just going to shuffle over here. You can see the Viet Cong only have 13,000 points. And the Viet Cong are absolutely rolling the US every single time. This is the tactical advantage of a crossfire and cover from the jungle right here. This is Vietnam all over again. And I just want to show you this full speed from the Viet Cong perspective right here. Look at all of these lads in here just absolutely chopping them apart. That crossfire is crazy. It literally means every single bullet hits. And I'm not going to lie, it doesn't help that they're doing some team killing here either. And that flamethrower, like, I swear the flamethrowers and bazookas have got zero kills. Like, literally no kills whatsoever. And these guys down the back aren't too much help either. Again, mate, this guy's got to start pulling his weight. He's got to start pulling his weight. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Right, that just happened right there. Okay, you see what you see what difference would happen if literally one bazooka shot just one missile. Now we've put down all of the US units right here. That's all seven waves and all seven rounds. All I'm gonna have to start doing here is just putting down more of those units until the US finally defeat this ambush. Okay, we've now also added in this little assortment right here. I'm hoping that these guys can do it. There we go. That's a bit more like it. I'm hoping, yes, there we go. 
They just needed a better position because now it's not as much of an ambush. They're not as encircled. They got a little bit of a better position and this time and it doesn't really matter because they're still getting absolutely rolled anyway. Oh my goodness gracious me. They've got way more than double the points. They got way more than double the points of the Viet Cong right here. But as we can see, Guerrilla Warfare beats mass numbers. And this guy is currently having a very, very bad day. Although I think a corpse, I think literally a pile of corpses were protecting him there. And interestingly, that was possibly the best the Viet Cong have done so far. What about if we added an entire another row of M16 guys right here? An entire row of them and they're getting team killed. Surely it's just now got to the point where there's just so many of them. They've got to win this, right? They've just got to win this. I'm not going to lie. The artillery is just team killing everything. I think we did just get a bazooka shot off though. Oh, I'll tell you what. It looks like they've actually held on a little bit here. And dare I say, they look like they're even going on the attack right here. Can they defeat the Viet Cong? What about if we added an entire another row of M16 guys right here? An entire row of them. And they're getting team killed. Surely it's just now got to the point where there's just so many of them. They've got to win this, right? They've just got to win this. I'm not going to lie. The artillery is just team killing everything. I think we did just get a bazooka shot off though. Oh, I'll tell you what. It looks like they've actually held on a little bit here. And dare I say, they look like they're even going on the attack right here. Can they defeat the Viet Cong who are still in the woods? Actually, there's still quite a lot of them. And there, there's your answer. It looks like no. I was going to say right here. I was like, what on earth is going down? This guy's like, this guy's like giving this guy a booster. But it turns out this guy who's like very, very kind of peacefully sitting down right here on a tree is actually dead and this guy seems to just be stuck in the log a little bit this is the tabs unit creator oh my god he's literally being haunted by this corpse what is happening okay there we go he's finally let go like i mean this guy's doing an actual dance right here like what even is this look at look at that heel what is he doing there he's doing like some sort of what is this can i like free him can i free him right here is that gonna help him uh no he wants to go back to this position. if he starts kicking his heel out again if he starts no, you- No! <laughs> what is this? Okay, seeing as they're all doing some sort of weird little dance right here, we're gonna take this final USA unit, and we're gonna try and take on the four or five remaining Viet Cong. I- uh, I- Oh, and I'm dead! <laughs> Literally sniped, sniped so hard by this guy over here. Oh my god, look at him with his AK. Pops off, look at the length of his neck as well. Boys, that's why he saw me. His neck was so long that he was like looking over the ridge. He was just like peering over the ridge. But look at that. That's a that's a fair play. That's fair play to that shot right there. GG. Okay, what you can see if I move out the way once again, you can see 13,000 points down the bottom left corner right here. And down in the bottom right corner, you can see 36,000 points. What we have added in is we've added in a bunch of shotguns for the Americans as well. Just look how many Americans there are right here. However, what I should say is when we do G for super slow motion right here, and you see all of like the muzzle flash coming out of the woods, right here with the Viet Cong. It does look pretty epic. You can see why there's such a crazy crossfire. Literally, these guys just shooting in from every direction. It means no matter where they shoot, they're gonna hit someone. And I'm gonna speed it up here just to show you that in practice. And again, the artillery, the US artillery, doing just a lovely little bit of team killing for us right there. And again, these guys at the start just get absolutely chopped in half. Let's see, surely they've now got about triple the points of the Viet Cong. Surely they can win this one. It looks like they're actually doing okay. Although no, because the Viet Cong, I don't know what it is, but it's like, I think the US must just be hitting the trees with every single shot because somehow they've lost the advantage again. But look, boys, we've actually got an American push. I never thought I'd see the day, but this guy right here, once again, must have had about 40 cups of tea or 40 cups of coffee because he's going pretty ham. Although I've got to say, this might actually be, and um, this actually might finally, and he's dropped for the shot right here, and finally the bazooka. Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes in together right at the end right here with this literal sun slash fireball of death. But now it's the battle that everyone wants to see in an open fight in the war of Vietnam. Who is going to win? Is it the M16 Americans or is it the AK-47 Viet Cong? Let's find out right here. I think this is going to murder my FPS and I was right about that look they're all bunching up together though i don't know who's got the advantage here let's go super slow motion look how many bullets are coming in that guy's about to have a really bad evening but yo and he's dead <laughs> and he's dead but look the m16s i think wow there's quite a lot of them still alive i think they've actually got a range advantage here i think that the ak-47s actually can't reach the same distance that these guys can so i've got to say i mean look at the absolute storm of bullets coming in and look how many it looks like a weapons manufacturing site look how many ak-47s are on the floor this is absolutely 
absurd. And let's see though, the Americans are starting to take a few casualties just because they're really like bottlenecked into one position. And it looks like they're also team killing, interestingly. There's a little bit of blue on blue going on, but I think that they've still got it though. I think they must still have it though. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. Well, look at this right here. Look at the field of Viet Cong. This is why the Viet Cong went full guerrilla warfare. That right there is exactly why they chose to do guerrilla warfare. Because in an open front battle, they are not going to win. Now, if you enjoyed that video and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, only a small percentage of people who actually watch these tabs unit creator battles are subscribed. So if that is you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see my last tabs unit creator battle, there'll be a card in the top right corner of the screen, which will take you back to that. But thank you very much for watching. I will catch you again next time.